Rudy, come here, buddy. Come on. There he is. Come here, buddy. Let's go. Come here. Hi everyone, this is Trevor here from astrobackyard.com. It's a Tuesday night, it's about 9 o'clock, and the forecast calls for clear skies tonight. It's a beautiful spring evening, May 30th, and the temperature is hovering around uh, 16 degrees Celsius, so just very pleasant out here right now. I've got the telescope set up in the far side of my yard, out in the grass, uh, rather than the patio where I normally have it. And that's because uh, I need a clear view to the southeast for the target that I'm shooting tonight. And that target happens to be the Omega Nebula, M17. I'm just waiting for some uh, passing clouds to go by, uh, but it gives me a chance to talk about some new items that uh, Ontario Telescope and Accessories have sent me. And uh, it's a set of SkyTech filters and they're DSLR clip-in filters and uh, I've got three of them to test out so it's the SkyTech CLS the CLS CCD and the L Pro Max so these are all like I said clip-in filters these ones happen to be for Canon DSLRs uh, and uh, they all have different purposes so the CLS filter uh, the CLS stands for City Light Suppression so it blocks out uh, the sodium uh, wavelengths of light uh, that you get from like street lights and, and stuff like that. Uh, and then the CLS CCD goes one step further. It includes a UV IR filter in it. So that uh, helps your stars from bloating. And uh, it works really well with uh, modified DSLR cameras. The third one is an L Pro Max. And that one uh, is for starlit landscapes. So that one lets in the most uh, wavelengths of light uh, when you really need to light up that landscape as well as uh, tame the night sky a little bit. What I love about the packaging on these SkyTech filters is that it shows you the transmission lines right on the front cover. Uh, so you can see here, this is the CLS CCD. And this is the one I'll be using in my Canon T3i tonight on the Omega Nebula. And uh, as you can see, it includes the UV and IR uh, block filters. So the city light pollution is the uh, red lines on the uh, graph here. And then the emission nebulae uh, and the percent transmission, as you can see, it, it's, it's letting in the good light and blocking the bad. some time to uh, enjoy the moon through the scope before getting up and running on my main target, the Omega Nebula. This is uh, known as Messier 17. It's in the constellation Sagittarius. It's very, it's extremely bright. So uh, those of you in uh, light polluted city backyards like mine will have no problem picking it up. Uh, it'll show up even in a 30 second exposure. And uh, another great thing about it for this time of year is that it's uh, one of the higher nebulae in Sagittarius. It's actually the only one higher is uh, the Eagle Nebula. Um, so if you've got a lot of obstructions in your backyard, trees or houses, you might still have a chance at the uh, Omega Nebula. Clouds kept on rolling by until about 1 a.m. 
but uh, I'm up and running on M17 now. That's the Canon T3i modified with the Skytech CLS CCD filter installed. I'm shooting uh, three minute exposures, 180 seconds uh, at ISO 800. Seems to be the sweet spot for that uh, bright low area of the sky uh, in my light pollution zone. I'm still able to pull out some, some decent data. I've also got the Ioptron Skyguider Pro running with my Canon XSI to 50 millimeter lens. Uh, and on that camera, I have the Skytech CLS filter installed to block out a lot of that light pollution. I've got that aimed towards Cygnus, uh, particularly the North America Nebula. So at 50 millimeters, it's a nice wide field. And uh, I haven't talked too much about the Skyguider Pro yet. I've recently got that from uh, OTA and I've got some big plans for it.